Hello everyone, welcome back to Hair Queens. I'm Malia. Um, Kendra's not in this video today, but today um, I am going to be doing my hair and makeup. I've had a lot of requests to show um, what I do, so yeah. Um, we're gonna show how we get to this look, so keep watching and I'll show you how. This keeps all of the hair out of my face. If you hear people in the back, I don't know if you can, but my nephew is like running around and stuff, so that's what that is. So first I'm gonna start out with primer. I just have this, whoops, I just have this. Um, just a simple primer start. We just got it in an Ipsy thing, so yeah. And my, ooh, my skin's more dry than oily, so nothing really hurts it, I guess. Except for matte things. <laughs> I just rub this with my hands because it feels good and I don't need a brush. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do foundation. So I use two foundations, these two I mix them because this one was a little too dark and this one was way too light so I mix them. Yep, I take this one and I put a bunch on my hand And then I take this one and I do one full pop. And then I take a beauty blender, a beauty blender, and then I mix them. A wet beauty blender. And then I put it on my face. And it, at first, like you think it doesn't look your color, and then once you put it all over, it should look good. Why am I doing it like a tutorial? I don't know if anyone's gonna follow this. I'm not a professional one. Like black under my eyes, maybe it's leftover mascara or something. hairline that I have a bunch of baby hairs right there so I just put it over it doesn't really matter okay so I have this powder I don't know it's just NYX I guess take it and put a little bit in here and then I take uh, I couldn't find my big fluffy brush so I'm just using this brush I don't I don't think we've used it before so yeah oh like some black under my eye. So now, I don't fill in my eyebrows because they're pretty dark, so I'm just, I just brush them out. Make sure they're laying good. I do need to trim them, but I'll do that later. <laughs> so now I take this palette. It's a Morphe palette. That's what it looks like. It doesn't say what palette it is. Oh wait, hold on. Morphe. 350 Nature Glow palette, maybe? I don't know, but that's what it says on the back. I don't know if that's the palette name or not. I'll link it in the description if I can find it. So, what I usually do is I take a fluffy brush like that, and then I, I look really, it'll look better, okay? I don't match my, I don't know what happened, but in the viewfinder, 
it looks horrible, but in the mirror it looks fine. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I take kind of a lighter color and I just put that in my crease and I just rub. And I go to the end of the brush and then just rub. Do that on the other eye. Okay, I got that. Now I take a darker color and I just take a little bit and I put it on the outer corners and then and then I blend the same way. Just back and forth motion. This is the easiest motion for me. Nothing fancy. And then I try and get up more near the eyebrow too. Okay, now I take a little bit of a more darker color than that. And I do just a little bit, put it right there. And then put it right there and then tap off the brush, make sure. And then blend. Okay, that looks good. Now I take a tiny brush like this. Come on. Okay. And then I take a little bit of like the in-between color, like the dark. Not too dark, not the darkest color I use, but the one that, not the darkest, but not the lightest, you know, that one. <laughs> and then I just put it under my eye. And then I take a flat brush and I take a shimmery color and I rub it on the thing get kind of a lot on there. And then I close my eye and I just put it in the eyelid. And then I do that and see it on the other side. And then I take the tiny brush again and I dip it into the same shimmer color and put it more on the inner. And that's it for the eyes. Now I take bronzer. It's a Morphe bronzer. And in the shade M, Enemy. Yep. <laughs> and I take this brush. It's kind of fluffy angled. Um, I put some on there and then I do that. fluffy brush but I can't find it and I like rub it in a lot I try and do I have a weird hairline if you can see that but I try and do it in that but if not it's fine now I take some mascara. I don't do eyeliner because I don't like eyeliner. Um, I've done it a few times, but I don't like the way it looks. And then I just put on my mascara. And if 
you can tell, I got a little bit. So just flick my finger and rub it. Not too much. Just until it comes off. I forgot about this step. I take highlighter and this brush. It's like a highlighting brush. And I put some right here. Right here. Right here. And right here. Okay. And then I do lipstick. But I usually do that once I'm done with everything, so I'll do that later. So now we're gonna move on to hair. It doesn't look like it matches my chest. It looks fine in person. I don't know what happened. But I'll be wearing or a higher neck today. Okay, so take that off. Oh, yeah. Take that. And then I brush my hair. It is curled, I know, already, but it's not like that curled. So I'm gonna be curling again. <laughs> and I wash my hair every like three days. It is starting to get more oily. I can tell. But it's I'll wash it tonight probably. So I usually I section all my hair together. I don't I don't section it like layer by layer. I just do it like this. So I take it all together like this. And then I section a piece from the back and go like that. And I take the curling iron and I do usually away from my face all the way through. So sometimes I change it up, but I like the like them them all going in the same direction usually. And it just rolls up. I'll link this below. It's the beach waver. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen ads for it. I have, and we got this a while ago too. It was we our hairdresser had one, and my mom thought it was really cool, so we got one. <laughs> and then just let it go. And then I usually throw that piece behind me so that it doesn't get in the way. And then I do the same thing and I section out a piece. Okay, and then take the curling iron. still so I do the other side while they cool and just do the same exact thing I'll come back when I'm done now that I'm looking like George Washington um, this is all cool now I usually take a brush not my fingers and then I just brush it out and then it looks like that it's really pretty just like some waves and then this side is it completely done yet so wait for a second and then I'll do it but and then sometimes what I like to do is I haven't turned off my curling iron yet because I was seeing if I wanted to do this or not I'm going to I take a piece from the top like this 
and I take my curly iron and I start near the top and ravel it in. Oh, hold on. There we go. And hold it for like 10 seconds. And then go to the end. And I let it go. Not sure if that's too much. But it gives it a little bit more volume. Then I do that on the other side too. And sometimes I just take the thing and use it as a wand too. I'm gonna do that right here. Ow! <laughs> kind of burnt myself. <laughs> And yeah, that's basically what I do. I don't usually put hairspray in it because I like the things to get looser over the day, but I do sometimes um, hairspray my part to make it stay. That's all I do though. Remember to turn off your thing. There we go. And that's my hair tutorial. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun getting to show you. I enjoy doing my hair and makeup, so yeah, I just, I do it sometimes, not all the time. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe because most of our viewers we found aren't subscribed. So if you find yourself coming back and watching our videos, you should subscribe. Thank you for watching, I guess. Bye. <laughs>